Puff stick, smart. That's New York's new charm, right? So in 1960, President-elect John F. Kennedy wrote in the pages of Sports Illustrated that he was disgusted with something that he called the soft American. What was a soft American? What JFK saw was that Americans were getting lazy. The largely white middle class, as he saw it, as needing to tone up in many ways. It was his grand national call for greater investment in public physical education programs, community recreation programs, basically things to get America moving. And then during the 1980s, what happens after this report called A Nation at Risk, in which there was all of this fear that American children were falling behind in math, in science, in reading, you have this major backlash to spending money on so-called frills like physical education. So what happens? Exercise, well-being, becomes very much something that wealthy people have access to through the private industry and through the private sector, whereas poorer people have less and less access to this. Here we are in the 21st century, and this is only intensified. To have the time to exercise, to have the money to join a gym, to shop at a food store that doesn't rely on and solely sell processed items, that's actually a really big privilege today. I'm strongly of the mind that wellness and fitness should be a universal human right. I think that both history and our contemporary context really show us that all of these things, healthful food, the opportunity to sweat in a community to take care of oneself, that these are not luxury perks only available to a privileged few, but these are all things to which we should have universal access.